Hey, what's going on? I am Jay Dudley. This is my Ram ProMaster. As you see, I don't have all of my rings on as normal. That's because I'm gonna be uh, doing some electrical work. Even though it doesn't matter, it's only 12 volts. I got hit with 480 before and uh, 120 is nothing. That's a nice little massage tingle. But I ordered something off of Amazon. This is a U-Classify battery isolator and you know my um sog seal strike which i i love well i mean no this isn't my seal strike seal strike is the fixed blade this is my seal xr my letter opener for any time a letter needs to get opened but what this is is a smart battery isolator right here this thing because on top of my van i have solar panels but it's not always sunny. Let's toss the box over there. Uh, it's not always sunny. And then sometimes I hook up, uh, well, I have my van battery hooked up to the um, uh, to my solar setup, that solar battery back there, which I only have one. And I plan on getting maybe about two more batteries, but they are expensive. I think like almost uh, 300 and some change for a battery, but in due time uh it'll happen uh when we had the uh, when we were living in here full time and had uh the shower set up using a hot um a hot water electric hot water heater we ended up uh, uh having to run the van until we set up uh give me one second hey well gonna have a visitor uh uh, what it seems like as he shows up the one and only bug out bob uh decided to head on property while i'm doing a video talking about this battery isolator see right there that's bug out bob you should go follow him on youtube and all the social medias we'll see if he actually gets out the truck and uh makes a guest appearance i think he is look everybody is bug out bob I'm recording a video. Just recording a video. Yes. What's up, everybody? What's, what's going on? What's <laughs> Bob just showed up out of nowhere. What are you, what are you recording a video on? Uh, well, see, this is a battery isolator. Okay. Yes, uh, because I have a solar set up mm. in the back of the van, mm. and sometimes I need to make sure to charge it off the alternator, in which I didn't get uh, to show the people there that right now you see the setup I have right there is yep. just this one little switch. Okay. right here that's just dangling there yeah so instead of me forgetting to turn off the switch like i would in in my semi truck i want to have this and the switch this uh switch is going to be a kill safe this is going to monitor it and if the voltage goes too low on my starter battery it'll cut the power going to the back so say if we have um things running in the back yeah and it's killing uh the battery in the front this will uh, shut it off automatically, so then I don't have to worry about it. I can just set it and forget it. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Yeah. Heck so, yeah. Uh, we're going to get into more of this in just a moment. So, yes, I am back now. After being so rudely interrupted, I, I, sh I should have had a uh, I'm recording sign flashing up here, but he wanted to just uh, bug out Bob wanted to show up and show some love. So let's get back to this. I found this thing on Amazon uh, and it has a nice little digital readout. So where I'm going to place it, as I'm getting in the vehicle, I'll be able to see the voltage uh, between both batteries, see if it's high or low. There's also a um, status light right here, which it's not on because as you see, there's no wires plugged in and this thing isn't wireless. There's a status light right here that will show if it's uh, if um, the back battery and the starter battery for the van is running, I mean, is connected, or if it's turned off. So uh, let's go see where I'm gonna put it at and uh, figure out how we're gonna do this. Well, as you heard before, um, how what I said to Bob, I had this uh, little crazy setup here with this switch which I'm still gonna keep in here. And uh, this is what d connects and disconnects the um, uh, my starter battery from my solar setup, uh, or I, I forgot what they call that in the van life world, but this would be on. 
and this would be off. So this I'm going to keep as an emergency disconnect and have the other, uh, the other battery isolator and I want to mount them right here. And so I'm going to have to take these screws out, pull this back, drill some holes and mount them up. All right. Well, got the three screws off and it's a nice little gap in there. I can drill some holes in this plastic, get everything mounted up. Just have to figure out how I'm going to run the wires. I believe straight back through there will work. And I have to get a ground set up on here as well. well I just open the back of this up and it already has the ground line in there. Real simple setup. I, one side going to the main battery. Uh, well, one side to the starter battery, the other, or I have it upside down. This is... Not the ground line. This post is for the starter battery. And this is for the house battery. Real simple setup. We'll get it all together. Okay, so now that I have all of this disconnected, I can't find my um, wire uh, crimps that I know that I purchased. They're somewhere. Wonder if they're in that box over there uh, to have a better connection on both of these so the wires don't come off. It'll be a nice good splice and go right over here. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to disconnect these wires and uh, make it nice and neat. I'm going to run the wire from the battery, which uh, comes from under the uh, ground right here. I'm going to run it under the seat and right back behind here. And then the other one, I'm going to uh, run from the back and then it's going to go under the seat, come out right here and go into both of these connections. Well, as I'm working here, here's my little chunk. I gotta move my phone back. He's so tiny, he's over here to help me out. So I'll just back the camera up some. But right now, as you can see, or maybe you can, I can't tell. Uh, let's go up some, you see those two, um, what is that, duct tape. I'm gonna unhook the wire from here and then, so the uh, these wires don't short out, I'll be all set. So let me get him as he takes all the tools and bang them around. Hopefully he hasn't lost any bolts or anything and get this done. Oh, now he's gonna try and go run away or close the door on himself. All right, so we're at the next step. I got the wires duct taped off and uh, now I have both here. I have the um, uh, smart battery isolator and just the switch uh, that I was using to isolate the batteries. And uh, another uh, surprise visit. We had bug out Bob earlier. Now we have Miss Lovely Dudley in the chunk. Hello. So make sure you go follow her. <laughs> uh, uh, well, at least follow her on Instagram. Uh, Miss Lovely Dudley on Instagram. And you can follow her YouTube channel, uh, which she may sometime this year put out another video. That might be it. Perhaps. And now the chunk is getting down and going to run off. Because he was over here messing with everything before. Now the both of them came over to come say hi, and now he's running around the camera to go grab tools and stuff. Thank you, my chunk. Not for you. But what I'm about to do right now, I'm gonna put some double-sided tape on the back of these, mount them up so I can uh, mark the screw holes, screw through, get the bolts in there, tighten everything up. Also, I have to make holes for the, um, uh, the two wires and also the ground line, but the ground line is really thin. I can uh, fish that under that little plastic piece and then we should be all set. Well, and once I hook everything up, test it out, then we should be all set. So let's get to it. All right. Well, now I have the holes drilled for the wire to feed through. I need uh, two wires coming in, one positive from the... Uh, starter battery, one positive from the house battery. That's the term I was look, thinking about earlier. Uh, um, the house battery that's uh, hooked up to the solar system, 
but everything's coming through here. I didn't have the double-sided tape like I planned on, but we're gonna have everything mounted up right here, just like this, and that's gonna be it set to on, and this is gonna read out the battery for the uh, starter battery. And it will disconnect when the starter battery goes below a certain voltage. I think it's at, uh, it cuts out at 12.8 so the van can still start up. Then once, uh, once the alternator is going, it'll be able to charge the battery in the back as well. All right, the major wiring is done. Uh, the brackets are up. Just got to get everything on, close it up, screw it down, and uh, get this ground wire to ground, then test everything out, and we should be good to go. Now that we have everything all installed and tested out, let's check it out. All right. Well, we have everything uh, hooked up. Uh, as you can see right here, everything is blinking. Well, it's blinking to you because of the frame rate of the camera. But uh, to me, if I put a shadow over it, it says 13.3. Oh, it's coming up a little bit now because I have the shadow uh, up. And that's because the solar, uh, solar panels that are up top are charging the battery in the back and also charging the battery that's right under there, which is a starter battery. If I wanted to disconnect the um, solar panels from doing anything to the um, to the battery under the floorboard here, I would just turn this off, which I did that. Did it change anything? No, because uh, in the back, we got good sun and it's keeping everything charged. So uh, everything's working out. That ground wire that I have right there, I have to tuck it under a little bit better. But be, beyond that, everything is back on nice and secure. You can't see anything back here because there's another paneling uh, on there uh, in between. There's a, a separate panel right here uh, from this little plastic piece. But I have it screwed in and bolted in. Everything is working fine. Haven't had an issue with it yet. And I'm loving it. I don't have to. It's more like a set it and forget it. If I forget to turn the switch off uh, the and the, um, the voltage drops down too low, I'm all good because it'll disconnect from here, save my starter battery so I can get in and start things up. And uh, um, whatever is left on the battery in the back, it'll be fine. So we're all good. Install is all set. Thank you for watching. Shalom.